casting up your game here. It's the capable stand-ins on the dire side up against the Radiant. Um, I'm Mopax. Hit me on Twitter at Mopax and also on twitch.tv at uh, slash Mopax. So uh, cast some FPL just to, for funsies. Uh, as you'll notice, I probably, as you've seen, I do stats and stuff for high ground TV for like Dota Pit and Canada Cup and things like that. So you might know me from there. But uh, let's get right into it. It's going to be fun. Your current FPL leaderboard um, victor at 1,387. Moves slowly behind, but he's not in here. Next highest person in this game is actually Z-Talk, and he's currently in fourth, followed by Flying Zebra in fifth. And uh, that's it for... I think that's it for your top ten. Yep. So, uh, moving into the bands, we do have the early IO ban. You see that a bit more often here in FPL. Uh, I like the early task ban. I think that hero is ridiculous. Uh, extremely good up against uh, basically anybody. With all these battles we're seeing everywhere across the map, it's just... Uh, it's good to have any hero that can morph the terrain. And uh, But looking for this last band, I assume it'll be the Leshrac. Uh, do they have first pick? Yeah, it's going to be the Leshrac. So if he had first pick, I think Arteezy would be fine with playing the Leshrac through. But of course, the way the band phase works is that uh, you're going to end up with second if you last band. So they'll have to throw out the Leshrac. So we could see something like the Gyrocopter. Uh, I guess it's pain. We could see a little bit of Gyrocopter like Rubik and possibly a skull. Oh, they're going to go right for the Arteezy Naga Siren. Okay, this is what happens when Arteezy drafts. Oh yeah, that's pretty funny actually. <laughs> it goes all the way over, because it does for everybody right now. Um, so if anyone has tuned into the RTZ stream as of late, uh, just <laughs> kind of spamming Naga and getting up that MMR, that sweet, sweet MMR. Uh, I'm just gonna get myself all set up here. Ah, whatever, screw it. We don't need to tweet all this shit out. You guys can tweet this shit out if it matters. <laughs> I'll just gas on Dota TV and whoever shows up here. Uh, the Witch Doctor also a staple support. One of the best win rates at the qualifiers, actually. Uh, just a really versatile hero. Of course, an ultimate that goes through BKB is always something handy. And that heal certainly can't be overlooked. In fact, we saw a lot of Maledict maxing. Oh, they're going to go for the Queen Pain and the Shadow Pain. Interesting. So, uh, probably going to be... Actually, you can go either way. The safe lane, Shadow Pain, safe lane, Queen of Pain. It could also be the off lane, uh, Queen of Pain. That's right. Radiant Octane Core, indeed. Uh, definitely the spam build that uh, Arteezy has been going for. I've seen a lot of people even getting it before Manta. I don't know um, what the proper... Uh, I mean, a lot of this is experimentation, so we don't really know uh, if in the end Octarine Core will be best before Manta or after. I guess we'll, we'll soon see. Uh, the Clockwork Bandit, pretty standard FPL. Considered the best offlaner, I would say. Not just in FPL, probably in competitive right now too. Uh, other offlaners still available. The Bristleback, still seeing some go in the offlane with a duel, like uh, with an Abaddon. Uh, in terms of players here, I know Fun really likes the Dazzle, so seeing how that's left, I think that'll be picked up in the next phase if you get a chance. Uh, players on the Radiant Suzy, known for his Shadow Fiend and his Storm Spirit. I wonder if we'll see an Arteezy mid Naga and a safe lane Suzy Shadow S or, uh, Storm Spirit. I think that could be what they'll look for up against the Shadow Fiend and Queen of Pain. Flying Zebra are known for his baller Skywrath Mage play. So we could see that as well. Yeah. Alpha seems some pretty nasty Shibby Storm Spirits. Yeah, they're going to ban out the Earthshaker. And I think probably the Dazzle get banned going to be here. Or they'll pick it for themselves first. They already have the Witch Doctor, so they might be looking for maybe a bit more control, like a Disruptor. Yeah, probably going to get a Disruptor right here for a Teezy. So he could ban out something like, uh, like the Dazzle. Um, any other top tier support. It's, it's very it's very obvious that the standards need supports right now. Of course they need an offlaner too, but once you take out the clockwork, I think you prioritize those really good supports up against Naga Siren, uh, such as the Disruptor. I believe, I might be wrong, but I believe if you have the Thunder Shock up on Naga and she runs away while songing, then you can still glimpse her back. So if she doesn't have a TP, she won't be able to escape with song. But uh, we'll see what Arteezy decides will be for the best. Uh, one thing that's really nice about FPL that uh, we didn't have in any is that every player actually has to be signed in Team Speak when it does happen. It's actually going to be the Brood Band. Okay, just not wanting to deal with that. Just get rid of it in the second phase. We do see that quite a bit. 
maybe deciding he won't be able to handle that sort of a pressure and doesn't want to lose his jungle too early. Wow, actually with the bounty hunter to create a lot of space and really shut down that mid laner. If you can snipe that bottle, it's just devastating if you're someone like the Queen of Pain or the Shadow Fiend. So. A nice little pick up here. I imagine that'll be Z Talk uh, or Flying Zebra roaming around on that. Z Talk seems to be, uh, I've seen him play some good roaming supports and had a lot of success with those. Uh, he's from uh, Team Unknown from the Qualifiers, who had a very nice showing and made their way up uh, from the open and did fairly well uh, at the hub, uh, the hub qualifier event. Uh, Capable standards, I really think it is going to be the Dazzle. Uh, very good with Shadow Fiend, very good with Queen of Pain, very good with every hero in the game. But, uh. We shall see. Um, in terms of top tier left over Disruptor, Gyrocopter, Spirit Breaker. <laughs> uh, Good combination with the Queen of Pain, any sort of a mobility uh, with your Spirit Breaker. Spirit Breaker also very good with the Disruptor, so uh, we could like to see that next. Being able to provide that vision with the charge can be so nice. Um, kind of acts as a secondary Thundershock for the Disruptor in, or in order to get those maximum range glimpses back. Could still be the Gyrocopter. Uh, throw that in the safe lane, throw Arteezy in the mid with the Naga. Maybe looking for a really solid offlaner. Uh, Clockwork would be really good in the situation where you need someone who can just get out there, soak up some experience, and not die. Uh, Spearbreaker are also good in that scenario, so both gone. Okay, so we saw this last time too. We're gonna have the Dragonite in the mid, and looks like our TZ will be farming up in the safe lane on the Naga, so not gonna be in his usual mid position where he can get most of the jungle camps dealt with as well. Uh, it's gonna require a lot of stacking then from your Witch Doctor and your Bounty Hunter. And they're actually going to take the Flying Zebra Hero, the Skywrath Mage, over on the Dire. Silence, extremely powerful against Dragonite if you can burst him down before he pops up the ultimate. Um, Silence won't cancel invis on your Bounty Hunter or anything like that anymore. Uh, well, not that it did not Bounty Hunter, but it doesn't cancel any invis anymore, so... Don't really have to worry about that. Last ban out for the Radiant. Gonna be the Timber Saw. Interesting, so... Yeah, definitely someone who can mess up a Naga. Uh, deal with her farm and everything can't really be that easily killed by the armor or the armor piercing effects of things like you know Janata and uh, Witch Doctor Ulti. Last ban for the capable stand-ins. Could be an offlaner, could be a support. I think they'll ban a real offlaner on the assumption that uh, this is going to be a, a Romy banning art. Could be kind of like a semi offlaner like the Marana that um, they might look for. Someone that could kind of go into the dual offlane with the bounty hunter, hold their own while he's gone. I think I'd really like a Marana pick here. Uh, other good heroes. The Bristleback, of course, still available would be very nice here. They're actually going to ban up the Chen. Interesting. Hmm. This could be a solo safe lane bounty hunter. Wouldn't be that ridiculous. Go echo trialing with the Naga Siren, but uh, if they're up against the solo safe lane Queen of Pain, that could work pretty well, actually. But with all the aggression capabilities of the Spirit Break, I don't think that's going to be the, the option here. Still a minute in reserve time, so they're not only planning out their last pick, trying to figure out their lanes, see how they stack up against the team. There is still the Lion, uh, who we see all the time up against Spirit Breaker, so they might go for just another defensive support. It's actually going to be Fit Darks here, so we talked about survival offlaner for the scenario, and that's exactly what they're going to get with Clockwork out of the picture. Darks is really the next best bet, and so he'll be able to surge away from that, so... Yeah, we pretty much got the lanes right there on that case. And then the last pick for the capable stand-ins. Probably just going to be a support. The Disruptor's still available. I think that's your best bet right here. Unless they're going to go for... I, we have seen the FPL support Queen of Pain, but I, I doubt we'll be getting that one again. Uh, it could be the Dazzle, it could be the Disruptor. I think it's one of those two heroes. Other than that, there's a, I mean, it could be the Lion. Not really enough mana hunger heroes for a crystal main to be that good. And when you talk about carrying up against a dark seer or anything like that, I think it's just disruptor. Lion. Final answer. That's the lion. Oh, fuck, we had like a thirty percent chance of getting that right. the pool just seems so small in six point eight four in terms of viable heroes. Like I've never 
I've been able to just say exactly what's going to happen to Dragon as often as I have um, while watching this patch. Especially in terms of hard carries, like... Uh, I mean, we see things like the Shadow Fiend and the Queen of Pain hitting the safe lane, but other than that, it's like... Like Naga in this game, I haven't seen a Naga yet in FPL, but other than that, it's basically just Anti-Mage, PL, Gyrocopter. Sp uh, Slark and Sven. They're like the only carries that anyone runs. I would like to see more things like your Axe. Uh, I think Axe is extremely good this patch and a little bit underrated. Um, I think things like running him in the safe lane, getting up that fast blink can be so good. He's just so aggressive. Uh, really nice against Queen of Pain and other squishy heroes that you can just blink on, get some spins, and kill them. But, uh, looks like just gonna start prepping here. And, uh, we'll just get ourselves all set up. Turns our configs and everything here for our camera. Alright, there we go. So, uh, we'll just start introducing the teams that uh, have already loaded in. So, it's gonna be Enso on your Shadow Fiend. Gonna be Misko on the Spirit Breaker, Excel on the Queen of Pain, Pandego on the Lion, and then last but not least, it's gonna be Fun on the Skywrath Mage himself. Well, it's now declaring ready. On the rating side, it's gonna be Shibby on your mid lane Dragonite, Z Talk on your Sport Witch Doctor, Zebra on the off lane Darkseer, Arteezy on the safe lane Naga, no shocker there. And looks like they're gonna try and make a play on bottom rune. Wonder if the Dire will come down to challenge this. There is a sentry and observer here on Mystico. Uh, try and get something down to block off this pole. Are there sentries ready for the Dire? Are there, ready? there are not. So when you see something like a bounty hunter, uh, you know he's going to go greedy. So he went for the stout shield and the tangos. And generally that is when you can look to block off the pole with a sentry or an observer because it's going to be hard for them to get the man to do, or the money to do something about it. RTZ. Just doing our teasy things. Get down the observer now. Let's see if they spot this. Uh, they did not see him, so they don't know that this has been done yet. And that'll give him a little bit of uh, survivability. Our TC trying to spot out that ward placement here, but he's just a little bit too late. And they're gonna get ready for this bottom. Whoa, that is freaky cool. Wow, I didn't know that was a thing. Man, Z Toxama dedication. Okay, that's badass. Is this a new set? Damn. Anyway, uh, they're gonna secure this rune. Nothing that Misko could really do. Oh, Miwa Susie here into his under this. He might be able to sneak this from them. There's nothing they can do if he does accidentally. Okay, five seconds. This will be worth it if he can get the bounty. Oh, he actually gets it <laughs> for the right click first. So that's gonna be both going out to the radiant. Pretty much GG right there. Double bounties. Game over. And uh, fun up here to help with the block. Looks like they're going to let the range creep through and just stop back everything else and hope that this will push into the tower. Going to be able to use some arcane bolts, um, spam up the wave. Or not the wave, but spam the heroes, I should say. Mid lane, pretty atypical matchup here of the uh, Enso versus the, you know, the Shadow Fiend versus the Dragonite. Uh, Shippy just going to be looking to spam as much as he can and get the nice, like, Oh, he's gonna just try and set this up here. Oh, he's not gonna go for it. So only gets one last hit with that fire breath. They're gonna start zoning a Pandego. Oh, this is such a nasty combo. They do have the dust though. Well, he, I don't think he can fight it anyway though. Nice double earth spike from Pandego. Excel will rotate over and throw it a shadow strike if he wants to just for harass. Uh, not gonna be close enough in order to actually. The bottom lane. Getting some nice deny hits from fun. So they are contesting our TZ's farm. Make sure he's not just gonna have the easiest time. And that cast, he's gonna bounce. Oh, it actually bounces twice. They're gonna, they're gonna try and die to some Maledict and everything. It's gonna get him. Just the uh, Reptide does so much damage. Actually, he's tanking up. Oh, he can't get the bash though. Mystico gonna have to run away. He doesn't have Sed Shield, so uh, Z-Talk won't be able to go right after this. Who's this rotation? It is fun. All right, yeah, he is just so dead. Probably not worth. All right, so now it's gonna be Susie looking to pick off this bottle. Now, of course, they're gonna know that this is coming. I mean, this is what you pick a bounty hunter for. Uh, surprise! I wouldn't be surprised. Like, if someone died right now, they would just TP mid with the bottle. But it looks like everyone's gonna be alive. Yeah. Oh man, he's not even close to the bottle. He might even. They might have flying before this. He actually comes up. Excel looking to zone up Zebra here. 
Let's get the full duration of that clarity off before getting canceled. Still getting very close up here. Does have the orb of venom for some nice harass onto Z talk. Oh, he's gonna cut that tree. Nicely played. One bash. Maybe the slowest one. They might be able to get this. Custom shot and everything else. They have just burst them down. That's a nice combo. Arteezy, no man to help out. And meanwhile, the top lane, they're gonna put the invis onto Susie. Susie walking up. <laughs> just iron shelling off the, the dust. Not available for. Oh, it is available for Bandico, but he just knows he can't do anything. He's just being. Oh, they're gonna give him a tower even with the dust! And now Excel has vision up and he can throw the Shadow Strike, but it only has a level 1 scream and he won't even be able to kill him. Oh, disaster. <laughs> Enzo just getting the bottle. Uh, it's actually not flying yet. Oh, see, I don't think Susan's gonna be able to get over here in time for this. They're pinging him. They actually just spotted him, so they know he's coming for the courier. Yeah, they're just gonna slow it up. It looks like it's just gonna be walked up by Pandego, just to ensure that uh, the game's not totally over. Oh? No? Not gonna happen? Enzo's just gonna walk all the way back to the tier 2 for it. Oh, this is so worth it. He's gonna go for it. No, he's not gonna be able to do anything. Your line is nearby, hoping to spot him out. No deaths or anything, though. And Susie will just ping him out, let the team know that Lion is here. So, a little bit of free reign here for Zebra. He can move up further in the lane, get some last hits. And the bot, uh, looking to get aggressive onto Arteezy. He's at full mana though. Uh, has not purchased himself a bottle yet. This is not here if he has. I'm gonna put the net up onto Fun. He just put a harass. He won't be able to kill him here. Oh, maybe with the cast, but the stun's gonna slow him down. Thanks to that charge. And now Mystico. And now Arteezy tank tower shots. Now the arcade bolt is so low. Fun gonna try and wrap him. Gets a nice last hit, but the heal's just too much here from Zetok. Can they get it? He needs this bash. Fun's gonna die for it. Oh, the fogs. He fogs Zetok. Nicely played. Now Mystico just needs a bash. He's gonna go down thanks to the creep. Well played. Arteezy diving for that. It looks like they're gonna pay the price. That was some sick fog work right there. Like, way to go, fun. This is why you're number one in the MMR, my friend. It's got the skills to pay the bills. Like, still having a rough time up here. It's not the easiest thing being a safe lane Queen of Pain as we finally bring up last sets at four minutes. But uh, so much action that. Hey, is anyone even hitting creeps this game? Looks like Enso is. Having an easy time. Nine last sets of Dragon Knight. Not too bad, honestly. That. Wait, what? Is that level one shuriken? All right, well, I'm sorry. I didn't think that would be possible. So there you go. T tours. How does that even happen? Whatever. Uh, getting souls of harvest. Ooh, if they get the cask here, if they get needs a really lucky bounce, he's not gonna get it. In fact, now Enzo just gonna start running on them. The sign of the Z talk. He is just so dead. One raise and two raise the max. Gonna pick up the kill. The heck's not really need He's just gonna TP in, but the Earth Spike catches on both. They could even look to help back in on this, but they'll just back away as there's, uh, you know, not no reason to totally risk that. But meanwhile, in the top lane, Excel does barely get the kill there, and he's gonna try and hug his tower. Oh, he's gonna blink right onto Susie, probably thinking that Susie's in the mid lane for this fight. 152 HP. There's only gonna be what 150. Yeah, so he won't be able to get the kill because of the magic resistance. And uh, Miss Kobe looking to get his treads, gets clarity here by fun. Also gets a nice bit of dust. Oh wait, uh, a career? Yeah, now he gets it. So that's gonna help him uh, picking off your bounty hunter. Now the Dragon Tail does come on to Enzo. Susie's here as well. So he has the Shurik and just try and finish this off. They won't even need it, just gonna use the Fire Breath. The Surge was available for uh, flying from Flag Zebra if they did need it. Arteezy gonna be spotting out the rune here. Actually he denies the DD. Assuming that's uh, probably not wanting the invis bounty to get it. He's actually gonna run into Pandago if he dives this tower. Uh, level 2 on the Shuriken though. Wow, this being pressure, this is pretty risky. Susie coming back in. Gonna catch up, fun. He's got the Shuriken toss. Might wanna get off 4 against Hex and Earth Spike here though. There's the Earth Spike. Charge is giving me a vision. They're just gonna raise him once and he's dead. Unable to get off anything. <laughs> uh, Misko actually gets bashed up by Roche as he's heading towards Shibby. Uh, Shivy almost finishing up the treads, has his bottle as well, so he's having a pretty good time. Z-Talk, I uh, doesn't even have his boots up yet. So it's a poor life here. Cass gonna need the double bounce, nicely placed with that range creep there. The Dragon Tail is gonna happen, even though it doesn't have range, but the Fire Breath is available. One more, nicely done. Maldick is gonna ensure that anyway. 
That'll be a good pickup. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Susie is going to TP in. Still not level 6. Um, also, not able to get any courier snipes, unfortunately. Definitely something you want with the bounty hunter, but the Dire playing it very safe. Uh, 34 seconds, so our dragon farm try and push down this tower. And, and meanwhile, Excel's doing a pretty good job up here in terms of farming. Looking towards his treads. 36 last hits. Got his bottle. And that was your fully completed magic wand. It's nice. And an urn from your bounty hunter, so. Good idea for your roaming and supporting. Looks like they're pinging out. Uh, gonna be another stack, already a triple. So nicely played there. Uh, and so we'll be very pleased. So he'll go raise that up and uh, we'll see if he goes for the mech first build. Definitely the most popular uh, as of late, so I think that's what we'll see. Uh, Yules wouldn't be that bad here. Could easily blow up the Bounty Hunter, the Witch Doctor, and most of the Darks here. Speaking of Darks here, Zebra getting charged here by Mystico. The Nether Strike is available. This is such a kill. <laughs> Excel just gonna go for the Sonic Wave. Uh, not even gonna have to use the Nether Strike to hold on to that. It is a longer cooldown, right? 80 first. Oh, actually, it's only level 1, so. There, actually, there's no no eggs, so it's 135. Man, that's disgusting with eggs. Uh, first time they're really getting any damage on the tower. Sustained wave. Trying to go on the Pandago here. Just trying to get some gold. Uh, eventually hoping to get up towards that Blink Dagger in the big game that we'd like to see. Meanwhile, Suzy wants a kill so we can get closer to his level 6. And of course, we have Z-Talk just right in behind. Oh, he actually becomes visible without really noticing, I think. And now the cast just to slow him down once it's all they need. Fire breath still available. Oh, it's not going Needed anyway. There's a raise. Susie gets bashed up. See if we'll try and chase down Shibby. Ah, uh, no. So, pretty aggressive there. Um, Mystico was already on the way. The freight train was coming through. Full stop, so. Oh, actually, Excel gonna go home. Just feeling a little bit too weak and vulnerable up there. And uh, he'll head right. Actually, Pandaga's gonna hit the mid lane. He's gonna head right back top, so. Uh, he's gonna refill that bottle for Enzo. As you can see, he slapped it on top of him. So he's full. Bandaga running away with the bottle, not noticing, and so like pinging at him, I'm sure. Like, oh, give me my bottle back. There you go. Alright, here comes the charge in from Mystico. It's gonna be on to Shibby. The dragon form about to wear off. He's actually gonna cancel the charge. They're just gonna raise the creeps and look to push. And there's a cat, so that'll be one hit. The dragon tail uses well. What level is the of two? That's only level one, so that will probably won't be enough to kill Enzo, I don't think. Now, even with bottling up everything, he'll be fine. And in terms of the net worth, how's RTZ doing? He's up to 2700. Not having a very good time, actually. So, only really the Ring of Aquila, poor man's shield. Didn't get the space to farm, but if he gets spotted up with the charge, he's just completely dead here. He does have the song. He does not have the song. Three, four, five. Oh, he's saving the point. Okay, yeah, we're, we're clear. So, he has the song if he needs it. <laughs> that is, is a lot of people. They just can't get the vision to kill him, though, so he won't even have to skill the song. Good squad, indeed. Uh, Artiz is gonna make it out alive. Susie's still hunting that level 6, trying to get his tracks up so they can open up the map a little bit more for uh, the Dragonite and make sure that Artiz won't be dealing with this roaming goon squad. Uh, perfect rotation from the Dire as well. They know that's exactly what Artiz has been doing, so they'll head into the jungle, secure it off, and take down this tower to limit what they can do. Excel just been chilling up here in the top lane, 2 1 0. Uh, up to 55 last hits now, though, second highest in the game. Just, um, this is fine for your Queen of Pain, like, this is why she's running the safe lane hero, so she can get some farm up and she's very valuable. And she's survivable on her own as well, as we all know, with the blink. Looks like Artizis here, they can use something they want to, they can also net, but, uh, not gonna go for it, she'll probably just, just disjoin it, and they're gonna trade tier 1, so. Uh, should be with the Dragon Farm, easily able to push this down. Not sure if it was really necessary, but, uh, they'll use it anyway just to push it. And Excel will just uh, farm up the jungle. Now they're gonna have the TP in from Shibby, trying to make some use of the Dragon Ball. We'll get the stun off on Pandago here. Oh, I just thought just the Earth Spike as Pandago will go will whips it. And Artiz is just trying to farm up, almost up to 600 gold now. Suzy probably. Oh, he's so close to six for so long. And now Excel here. Of course, um, can't run into him. Oh, he's right over top of Sentry now, though, so he can use the scream. The Sonic Wave as well, if they want it, they can completely see where he is. Yeah, he's he's in deep trouble. Just following the little the little dot. Not even wanting to commit the Sonic Wave. <sighs> and the dust comes over Mystico, and he is just dead. 
Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. They'll all gather around for a nice little... Actually, only the two of them get the ESP. That Skyrath Mage got hidden, but... Apparently not. Looks like your mech... About 200 gold away from being done for Flying Zebra. You're dead indeed. Is that on the Z-Talk? It is on the Z-Talk. Uh, no mana though for the ultimate. Ziva Wand? He's only got one pop. Oh, actually, it's gonna be enough. He'll still have the ultimate here. He'll pop the wand he needs it. The cast actually is so nicely placed on the creeps. He actually didn't have any idea, so that was kind of a fluke that he tried to farm. Holy shit! And so just blows him up. His max HP pool just so tiny with no items whatsoever. He could probably like three shot him. And uh, oh, Susie, gonna cancel that TP from Misko, nicely played. They do have a ward here, and this could be bad for Susie. Oh, he did go for the Yules first, there's one raise, gonna look for the second. Oh no, nice play by Susie. I wouldn't have guessed there, I would have went there or there, but uh, positioned himself correctly to live that through that one. Still on the hunt for about five minutes now <laughs> at level six, your bounty hunter just not able to take off. Keeps getting charged, keeps getting shut down, all this detection doing such a good job and not allowing that gold bounty to be useful for the Radiant side, especially when Naga is so desperately in need of that Radiance. And I mean, they've just taken over the jungle, there's nowhere for uh, RTZ to farm right now. Curry are just bringing out an Ogre Club here for Shibby. RTZ in the top, and there's a charge, as one would suspect. RTZ, of course, having the song. Uh, gonna use the mirror images to keep pushing the wave and farm, and uh, meanwhile, it's a line with Finger of Death, so again, looks like he tried to go in Pandago, and mistakes were made because he did have the finger. This gonna really cancel the charge, so he heads back towards the KP Towers. And uh, Arteezy managed to clean up these waves. Closer and closer. Sea Talk camping in the mid lane in case they do go on Chibi. Uh, and the mech also here on Flying Zebra in case the same scenario. Looks like he's gonna run right into uh, Enso though. One race, two race. Man, Enso was a machine with his duels. Moving so fast, able to just blow up these squishier heroes. Such a good item when you're snowballing a Shadow Fiend. I'm sure we'll see an alley you play here in just a little bit as well. Gonna be an invis rune. Oh, it's bounty rune. Okay, I'm right over to fun actually. Uh, not sure what he's gonna build. I believe they already have an urn. Maybe they don't. Actually, ooh, Flying Zebra, yeah, they have an urn on uh, their lion. Flying Zebra gonna silence up, uh, or be silenced up. I'm so used to Flying Zebra being the Skyrath mate. The song comes in from Artiz. He's gonna hold fun in place and miss the goal. Play does it another strike and everything. And a one. So Pandaria gonna come in. He needs a big Ravager. It's by gets it on a two. Now the ultimate from Enzo. The Requiem and the double raise. Nicely played. Artiz, totally out of mana. No song. The charge. Oh, they even have the nether strike. Whoa. Misko, what are you doing? Wrong way. Alright, there's the Yules. Shimmy coming up to Dragon Tail to try and save Arteezy. They're actually just going to Nether Strike him and guarantee the kill. Get a triple on top of Enzo here. Susie in the scenario here. Not sure if there there is a sentry here. As we can see the vision, he's not going to walk inside of it. Uh, not the sentry, just missing out on that. Another sentry caught by Mandago. What? Oh, he charges. He sees him. Oh, they don't have any more sentries though. <laughs> If only that charge is available. Is there a dust? Oh, there was a dust. I don't think it doesn't notify you. Anyway, I'm just gonna get the rays and the earth spikes. So Susie just staying around way too long and to his own death. I'm not sure what he was going for there. This early Naga pick just not working out, not respecting the uh, the drafting capabilities of his fellow FPL players. This isn't pop that easy. <laughs> People will actually do shit against the Naga. At least, I think that's fair to say. I, I would say that this draft is doing an excellent job of making sure they win their lanes and shutting him down. I mean, what's this farm at now? Almost 2k. Doesn't even have the relic at 16 minutes just because of this really good play by the dark side. Excel gonna keep blinking on him. Hits the Sonic Wave if he wants it. No song available. Oh my god. Well, here I am talking about respect, Excel, and look what you do. But anyway, if you want the mid lane, the Death Ward is popped down on top of Anto. Not gonna be enough. Even with the Maledict, the old will take him down as he pops at the wall from Flying Zebra. And they do pick up a double here. Excel, uh, also going down, of course, to Arteezy. The charge is cancelled there. Ay, ay, ay. 964 gold bounty. Woo, Enzo. That money. Uh, I think Zebra will probably go for a Blink Dagger. Trying to do something about all these fights. 
Aim detection here. Misko doing a good job always having dust, something you'll see all the time in your Spirit Breaker players. Ooh, we'll be able to pick off fun here, but he doesn't have the mana. He hasn't earned, so that'd be- oh, nice shuriken. Nice. Yeah, he doesn't have invis, though, because he's no mana. And he is just so dead, doesn't even need the dust, he's little does he know. And down he goes. Pandego, getting closer to that blink at least. Looks like Enzo's gonna head back in the mid lane. Has the blink Yules, uh, definitely your DAC build, Shadow Fiend that we've been seeing. And they'll just knock down this tower. Only at 18 souls right now, so maybe not too keen on taking a fight, but he'll raise the wave, pop himself up to 23, and slowly make himself up to the 36s available. Uh, Roshan, pretty much available at any time. They have the presence of the Dark Lord already leveled up three times as he's level 13. RTZ flaming Jared Fletcher. You go, girl. Uh, 18 minute Orchid up. After treads and everything. So, still having an alright time, despite that death to RTZ. I'm gonna go clear up this wave as well. Try not to tank too much Iron Shell. Up these last hits with ease. He does hit for about 150 right now. Artiz is sitting at 948 HP, so if they can get that orc on before the song happens, he's in big trouble. And uh, Artiz, bottle crowing at 15 minutes, pretty typical Artiz things. Susie just passing right underneath the Pandago and Enzo. Mm, looks like this will be a free kill on fun, no detection. Gonna get caught out here by Susie. 891 HP. Might not be enough damage. Oh, actually, he does have the medallion, so he'll have to go hit medallion. Fun. Is he trying to juke something here? Where's the charge? Oh, the charge is on the Z-Talk? Oh, it's onto Arteezy. So they're waiting for like some sort of player, but they're actually gonna stop and go right onto Z-Talk as well. Shadow Blade down on Mystico. And uh, they'll be looking for Susie here. That's a, that was a bit unfortunate. Susie probably very happy he didn't pop over right there. Oh, there's the Orchid. The song knocks me there. They're also going to lay on the Hex and the Earth Spike. Sonic Wave, I'm sure, will be committed after that mech. Oh, he's going to go down just from the Soul Burn, though. So will they go on to Flying Zebra as well? It doesn't look like it. Um, Misco chasing, but no one else is. The Goon Squad, indeed. Susie. Okay, he popping out a couple tracks here, hoping not to get tracked down himself by fun. There is no detection, however, so he'll just have to watch him take the towers. That DD shadow he might be a bit too terrifying. If he spotted out right here, uh, there will just be an instant Yules into Requiem, and I believe he will be toast. Oh, that was popped. Uh, he just They just saw that on that ward. But again, there's no detection. The second he pops the track, he's going to get Yules and killed. So he's be out of it. This is nicely played. He's out of Artizi's range. So see what he can do with the silence. Oh, he's following him though. He knows. And here comes that Yules we're talking about. He's completely silenced. It won't even matter. Just the magic amplification combined with the scream will kill him. So the mobility of Enzo is just too dangerous. And the fact that the second he goes on fun, he just instantly gets silenced and he can't, you know, disengage with his invis. And uh, Mystico running right to Artizi. It doesn't even seem like he noticed uh, the net from Artizi. He might be able to meta kill it here. And he's gonna go for the illusion rune. There's the song, just to pop it on himself. Now he'll go for the body block with the illusions. What? Artizi? Oh, well, that turns out to be the right decision because they are coming in with all their blink daggers, so uh, he's gonna run right into Pandago. Actually, he doesn't. Nice juke there. Uh, sensing the dangers ahead. Ooh, nice calling blade play, too. Wow. This guy. What a player. Meanwhile, on the top lane, uh, some pressure being put on by Excel, but the Radiant will rotate up to do something with it. I don't think he spotted this courier. And is this the Fabled Relic? That time? It's that time. The Relic has been purchased. Can you imagine? This got picked off by <laughs> Excel. Oh, oh god. This, kid, this can't get picked off. This would be so bad. <laughs> Excel got to get back even back, and they get a net they cannot. Custom shot comes in from Fun. Zetok rotating over. There's a ward from Fun that's gonna spot it at the charge from Bisco. He's Shadow Blade. He's gonna go into Arteezy. Arteezy won't have the song up because we did see him use it to secure that bottom room. There is a, a Yules over on the backside. Up to Zetok's thrown in the air, so that's gonna be a trade here. Uh, Misco will go down and change for Zetok. And uh, your BKB is done for your Dragonite. 
and uh, looks like this game is about to get dirty. This this is almost done. 500 gold away. 1425. That's your radiance. Oh jeez, how many times have we seen this? Excel right on the disco or it's Susie and the soul burn's gonna kill him. There's just no way. Yeah, he's dead. Let's see if we're gonna vacuum down the trees here. Uh, increase his farming potential. Tick tock, tick tock. Uh, let's go back up though. Might look for a charge and uh, engagement here onto our TZs. This ward did extremely well placed up against the Nagas Iron. He, he always pushes uh, right to this line here on the mini map and then he backs. So, really nicely played there by the Dire. Something you guys can use in your pub games. It's your Tinkers and your Nagas. Probably more useful against your Nagas, but. Let's see if we're gonna be stacking up the Ancients here. And so, within their vision, I believe. Yeah, so they did have a, a clip of that. This is your Radiant Vision. Uh, the creeps, the Nagas, and everything. A nice ward here spawning up rotations from the TVs of this tower. And of course, their own jungle to try and keep our TZ a bit safer. Oh, they are gonna catch out our TZ, speaking of uh, vision. And he's completely out of mana, no song available. There's the Finger Death from Pandago, and Misko will pick up a kill for himself. So, this ward, doing work. Uh, in terms of their own vision for the dire side, uh, they've got uh, this nice ward here that we saw Fun put down. Got some runes um, and brush wards up. So fairly decent control um, of their own side of the map. And even, like, they've got a little bit of a threat. Like, all through here, I'd say, they, they don't worry about mine going. <laughs> I'd tease you a little bit salty about the Shadow King Queen of Pain, it would seem. I mean, you first picked Naga, though. So... Uh, anyway, this DD for Enzo, making this rush easy peasy, his line denies the mid tower. The paint's come up for fun, saying we're gonna take it at bottom tower next after this. And so 24 minutes in, we see an Aegis and we see the Radiance. Looks like Mystico's gonna be charging into the mid lane here. He actually gets on the flying Zebra, so not gonna go for your bounty hunter. Uh, the vacuum, not gonna be available. Zebra awaiting his fate, the batches are so real, he's not gonna get the again, the hex blink from Pandago, nicely played, but Arteezy is here. Da -da -da -da. So with the Radiance, looks like they're gonna fight this. Susie here available to charge, no man, he can pop the wand and get it though. But he's gonna come back, he's not gonna run nice vacuum wall from flying Zebra, they all run through it, but the Requiem blows them up anyway. And Arteezy's just gonna flee. Not gonna be able to kill them despite having the radiance. Excel blinks in, blows him up with the scream. And on the backside, Pandego tries to bring down uh, <laughs> um, an illusion. Oh, it looks like it, he was killed by uh, a wall illusion, actually. I think there was a radiance um, still doing damage to him. That uh, radiance, not an illusion. Anyway, looks like the plan has shifted as uh, they just blew up everybody in the mid lane, so they'll take the mid tier too. Susie trying to get off whatever tracks he can. Sea talk working his way towards that glimmer cave. Definitely the item we're seeing the Witch Doctor go for first, uh, especially one behind, not just rushing the eggs anymore. 3,500 gold on Enso. Uh, he can go right into the battle, or the uh, butterfly if he wants. Uh, could go really any which way. Wouldn't mind seeing a gem um, from someone here. Try and get rid of all this map vision that they do have, but at least the sentries are going to come out for fun. Just trying to get some control onto where Susie can actually roam. Ah, uh, Misko. Uh, not charging up Z-Tog, actually. He's charging up your Dragon Knight. Should be? No. I mean, what the hell? He's just charging top lane. He's actually gonna run into them. Despite being Shadow Bladed? What just happened? Did he just. The cast just bounced off? I'm so confused. Wait, what's the duration of Shadow Blade? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was not paying attention there. Alright, I take it he threw that, and then I'm thinking he targeted Misko and hit him with that. Yeah, that, that would be what happened. And then he Shadow Bladed before it hit. Okay. I'm not uh, completely insane. Oh, he was tracked. I'm, yeah, I'm just out of it. Sorry, folks. Okay. Rip indeed. So now the plan has rotated to the bottom lane. The wall back up now. A uh, really nice vacuum wall there from Flying Seaver. So he's going to have to hope to do something like that again and maybe some more fire up. A uh, vacuum wall fire breath will do a ton of damage here to the dire side. I know. Very. Such good analysis. Much wow. Ooh, let's see if we're going to need a courier pick here from Susie. That's a dead courier. Some dust and smoke. 
gonna go down. Nicely played. Meanwhile, they have rotated the bomb, and Susie's nowhere to be seen. And Susie pauses the instant they blink hex. This is why you pick line, though. Um, he's a hero that can get in there right before the BKB can be popped. So nicely played there. Uh, they didn't have vision of him, as you can see, he came right from the high ground. So nicely played. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, this is convenient. So, right now, Arteezy could song TP into the bottom lane. Uh, even the hex is down. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, jeez. This is, uh, hey, this is so unfortunate. Yeah, that's right. Throw with that baby rage's Bandago. I'm sure the RTZ Twitch chat is blowing up right now. So, this Canadian's got to unite. <laughs> All right, well, Susie's ready now, so we can continue. <laughs> I think it's going for an egg, by the way. All right, well, anyway, there's the hex. Oh, look, it's an earth spike. How shocking. There's the sonic wave. But the Yules from Enzo actually throws up Z-Tox, so he'll avoid it. Uh, three silences up on z -talk right now. That might be a little unnecessary, but it is going to force him to go back. Why did it show through? Oh, we hit the Ancient Seal, we hit the Orchid, but... Why did it have three? Oh, well, whatever. Gonna raise up the waves and keep going. Our TC now gonna come in and throw up the illusions, try and push them back. Uh, the wall lasts 40 some seconds now. Oh, there's the blink, and now here comes the Requiem. There's no hex or anything available. What just, what just bashed him? Oh, it's just the song just stopping it. Oh, it was the shuriken. That was nice to play there by your bounty hunter. And now he's completely stunned up here as well. He's tracked too. Does get off the wreck, you know, and it comes a replay bug or something. But now the Maladic comes on the Mystico. They're going to blow up Flying Zebra. And so trying to get out here. He does have the Aegis. Not even sure he wants to pop it. Pandango walking out as well. Lots of tracks up here. So they might be able to chase something down. Susie's so fast right now. Can they get a cast? Oh, they're going to do some nice bounces. Nice, gets it on the uphill, that ward helping out now. Enzo blinking in, trying to get something done as the raises. So he's gonna pop his wreck games. Arteezy just walks past to the radiance. Uh, Flying Zebra gonna vibe back into the game. They're still all tracked up here. That's not gonna look to retreat. Is there any more chase? More tracks. Flying Zebra blinking in. Oh, the back doesn't get anyone. And there's a double earth spike as well from Pandago. No blinks available for the radiant. They're just gonna start running away. They're gonna surge up Shivy, try and get one dragon tail. Oh, Pandago blinks there just in time. They're gonna catch Enzo though. It doesn't have the blink available. Oh no, Shivy! Uh, I just assumed that the blink was there, but it wasn't. And Enzo will get away. That could have been a kill. Actually, RTZ had backed already, so maybe it wouldn't have been. They probably wouldn't need the net and everything. Nice little haste room there for Excel as he picks up his uh, eggs and 100 gold. How close do you to your gold eggs, Fandago? Eh, not that close. 1500 away. BKB Assault Crest coming up next for Shibby. Susie, mm, 1200 gold. He might go towards the Dagon. I think Dagon's good this game. It's really good against Skywrath Mage, against Lion, even against Queen of Pain. Of course, the eggs will help her tank up a lot. Already at 1300 HP uh, with that PKB. It's good to be even tag here with the uh, eggs. Pardon me. Anyway, yeah, uh, Yule's now up. Yeah, he's just gonna Yule some stuff. Sorry, the track. I was just gonna say he's just gonna Yule some stuff. He's got my tongue a little twisted there. RTZ coming top. Gonna get more farm with this hero. Should be gonna steal a bunch of it. Try and get closer to his assault caress. Gotta fight your Naga for that farm. Dodo 2. Fun gonna secure himself a room. Get himself a nice little bottle thanks to Enzo. That's so sweet. Steals the room from Susie. Has the eagles available? Gonna go for the Requiem for the kill? He's not. Just gonna go for the raises. 
Central Ward. Oh, nicely played by Enzo. Wow. Okay, this thing needs to work him. There's a charge here. It's coming on to shimmy now. Pandango sent up with a dragon tail. Will he be able to survive? Looks like he's going to start walking away as my socks now. Pounds and Dolphur for some reason. Pandango is going to die due to the Corrosive Skin. Artis is here as well as going to the Excel. He's going to the BKB. Now the Death Ward drops. It's wailing away on Excel. Throws off the Sonic Wave. It hits Flying Zebra. He is going to go down. They can't see fun right now though. He actually gets the screw paint off before he dies though. The Nether Strike put on to Shivy. Fun's still hiding in the side here. Now the song from Artis is going to rush Shivy to escape. And so they all do silent stuff. Can we get the Yules? Oh, no vision available. They're going to get the Castle Artis is going to blink. And now here comes the Requiem. Boom, shaka, laka, down he goes. That's bad. No buyback available for Arteezy. No, of course they instantly ping up this ward like a shit. They have a ward. And uh, you're dead. That recap, 1600 gold. Going the way to Dragonite, so big save by there, um, there from Arteezy. And despite Arteezy dying, he actually got uh, 2000 experience and still 140. He's still getting out net positive even though he died. So let's say you know that uh, still went pretty well for himself. Looks like the charge is on to uh, Shibby. Will be cancelled. I think maybe we'll see a Blink Dagger for Susie. I think that would be the item. I'll probably save up for that. Another track put out. Z Talk does have the Glimmer Cape. I was gonna say he's down to 100 gold. I hope it's on its way. Yeah, uh, they're they are already carrying detection, of course, because they do uh, Susie on the Bounty Hunter. So Enzo going for this really high damage build. Susie just lurking nearby thanks to this track. Gonna pop up another one and dust instantly. He's just ready to refresh whenever he wants. Actually gonna Yules himself and Su oh nicely played there by Su er, uh, Enzo. I'm sure he won't get a second track on himself. Radiant Vision, very limited right now. Uh, really just this ward up here. Letting them know what is going on. Dire Vision. Uh, much more. Wow, this is, this is Dire Vision right now. Boom, boom. Lots of vision, knowing exactly what the rating is up to. Really nicely placed here. Pandago, just making sure there's no wards there, but uh, nothing to worry about. And now there's a charge on the z -Tech. They're actually going to cancel, uh, knowing that the song is up. Next to it being, what, the 40? 120. Wow, in just two minutes. And now that next level is so important at level 16 to make it just one minute. And so, not going to be able to get the Yules, but they be able to pick it up on the z -Tech. He's not even going to go for it. He's going to right click him. Oh, he actually raises the wrong ways, but now he knows Z-Talk's back here, so let's just be able to pick him off. And, and man, such good game sets here from Enzo, and a nice earth spike by Pandago as well. Knowing that if he didn't hit those, then he must have went back the other way. Nicely played. Have the charge onto RTZ. He's gonna pop the song. He sees it coming thanks to this ward right here. So that ward saving the day, that's for sure. Concussive shot won't be enough to track him down. The illusions are there, just wailing away on fun with the radiance burn. Excel with his Agnum, still not going to chase. And so pretty deep in the mid lane here. I think it's going to be a BKB for Flying Zebra, just trying to stay alive in these fights and get his spells off. Keep surging, keep Ion Shelling. Susie actually is well missing. I'm going to get a soul kill here with him. The Bash is going to BKB, go for another strike. Oh my god, they're going to. Nicely done. <laughs> oh, that's so defeating. That's so bad for Susie. That kill would have been huge. Oh man, that's awful. <laughs> Let's go 4, 3, and 15. Whew. Sorry, Susie. Rough date the fair. Uh, Pandago 800 gold away from that Aghanim Scepter. Be able to pop that ultimate every 20 seconds, so that'll be twice in a team fight with uh, Naga Song and everything delaying these fights and making them so long. This is going to run to Excel up there, but uh, it's going to be two ships passing the night. And so, picking up more of this jungle farm and. Well, I assume look to this approach is it will be respawning basically max duration, about 20 seconds shy. Let's uh, go gonna charge through, because it's not there, nicely played. And they'll just look to him, probably, that must, oh, he sold it, I'm thinking he's gonna go for the satanic, I assume. Uh, for the next fight, I'm not sure who they'll put the Aegis on, uh, could look to put on the Queen of Pain, they actually are pinging it out as fun spots out the Rosh respawn. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure who this will go on. I mean, of course, you can get to Enzo again. Satanic now delivered, though, so I don't think there's anything he's going to really want to drop unless it's going to be his treads. Now, yeah, they're going to teleport down the Queen of Pain, and uh, she's going to pick it up for them, actually. 
So Excel will be dropping his TP. Yep, there we go. So he'll be grabbing the rush. And there you go. So now paying the bot lane. Uh, they don't have that nice ward up here anymore, unfortunately. They do have a little bit of vision uh, coming off your mountain side, though. So can have an idea if we swap over to Dire's side. They see Z-Talk, so they know that the defense is being prepared. Z-Talk looks like he wants to go up and center that, but it's a bit too risky. And uh, they're also going to spot out Suzy. Uh, oh, they would have for a second when he was right there. Anyway, we'll go back to the, the full vision here. Oh, man. Got to get that off pretty fast and not get Yules up there by Enzo. Probably wasn't looking at his hero. Let's start going to town on this tower now. What can they do? They might look for a good song to put themselves in the right positioning. The track is on to excel. Of course, she's playing up front because she does have the Aegis, so not too scared of dying. Go back. <laughs> Dropping his BKB. Excel, just doing Excel things. And Dango off on the, the very side. They're trying to get that uh, Agnum Scepter delivered, actually, as the Courier is heading home for it. He's doing a good job clearing out these waves, but uh, of course there's a shadow thing, so he'll just raise them down and start going to town on the tower again. The net up on Enzo now doesn't have the uh, Aegis this time. Gonna Yules himself and blink away. Nicely played. And again, they will wait. Uh, all the meanwhile, Shibi is pushing at the mid lane, so nicely done on that front at least. Trying to get something out of this uh, sustained push as the illusions do hold them back. You can see RTC sending in one illusion at a time just to ensure they can't um, raise them all down. So this is nicely done here. Nice vacuum too. Gonna allow for a little more harassing now. Another illusion. Slowly wheeling down the dire side and they're not able to push right now. And meanwhile, Shibi is also getting this tower, but uh, he, he fully gets it. Does he commit the ultimate? He does. Just to burst down as fast as he can. So here comes the song from Arteezy. Shibi not gonna come back for this fight. Oh, perfectly placed wall though. It might hit twice if this illusion dies. Uh, there it goes. Now it's gonna be the... Oh, oh, again! These stuns doing such a good job canceling the right game. This is gonna charge him. They do get the Orchid up on Arteezy, but he is Blibber Cape. And I don't know why that keeps bugging out, but he throws out another Re Requiem. Gonna start wheeling on Flying Zero, but the BKP gonna keep him alive, at least everyone else on that team. Now the Vacuum. Sonic Wave still available for Excel, and he also still has that Aegis, so we're going to hold on to the Sonic Wave until after. But now they've boxed in Arteezy up into the mid lane. I think it's gonna be a Rack straight. In fact, he's just going for the throne. Maybe think there won't be enough TPs. They do manage to get it. And a ton of damage on the tier fours. There's no TP. You've got to be kidding me. Are they leaving? Are teasing? He's gonna go for the top lane instead as they have wiped out the bottom racks. They're actually all buying TPs. And so buys himself some bots and has to come home. Uh, not gonna get a charge off in time so they won't be able to track down our TZ. He heads to the top lane. And it's a full rack swap. So nicely played by your radiant side there. Should be doing a really good job of pushing it. They're even gonna pick up a kill on the backside of this on Pandego. I mean, in the end, you gotta give that to the Radiant. Unbelievable. Just, uh, they were able to push back those waves for so long that it gave Shibi enough time as a Dragonite with a Sulker as to wipe out a tower and a full set of racks. Of course, the boost traveling from Arteezy, doing all that work too. No, no, I won't take that away from him. He's gonna get the mana saw for now, so not an early Octarine core rush, but I'm sure we'll be seeing that next. Did we even get the Aegis pop? We didn't. So Excel's still having it, but probably would have liked to use it if it would have um, saved their own racks there. Man. This is how it starts. Definitely, uh, when you're the moment with the Naga with the Radiance, you're definitely pleased to do a one-for-one -one split, I think. And that is going to even force the Denial from Excel. As much as he keeps sending these illusions towards the tower. Now they know he's going to be over here. They're going to look to get this ward down again, I think. Uh, it was doing so much work earlier. It looks like Arteezy might even be avoiding the area, but uh, he's going to head for it now. Uh, I think we'll see that placed again. Oh, he might get spotted out here. This is going to cut Silence, it's going to get off in time. It's not within range. He actually gets it onto Illusion, unfortunately. Now the Sonic Wave does, or the, uh... Oh, there's the Orchid. They might be able to get this kill. This goes too far away right now, though. And Z-Dog's going to move to the side. So he's on the backside as well. The Sonic Wave is just going to clip him. RTZ is down 60 seconds, but he does have the buyback. So now the fight will commence without him. It looks like, ah, this is actually stuck up in the tree. Z-Dog's going to glimmer cape himself. They're going to bring down Fun using end. So, so Z-Dog on the other side here. The glimmer cape not going to be enough to keep him alive. Pandego has the finger if they need it, but they'll just go with the raises. He's brought down. Susie's still on the backside. Not able to get any kills or anything, though. So that fight went really well, considering Mystico was stuck in a tree the entire time, but Arteezy going to be forced to buy back, and looks like they're putting the charge onto Shibi? No, actually. Yeah, he cancels it. Uh, again, the 
It looks like the line's been drawn there. TC has actually TP'd. He just bought back TP'd. He's 30 seconds where he will not be at base. Uh, he's going to have to go Rax. I mean, Throne, I think. They can't get Throne. Yeah, I think RTC starting to realize this might have been a mistake. He's going to start running home. Uh, they're going to get this Rax here. Susie trying to be some sort of a distraction in the back lines. They're going to go with the Hex into the Earth Spike, into the Double Raze along with the Bash. So he goes down. Shivy now bringing back home as well. Uh, gets orchided up. He's going to have to back away. And they're going to get the top Rax. TC coming with the songs. This is going to save the range for now. But the melee are already dead, so the Dire will be happy. Perfectly placed wall again here. Uh, Shrine gets two heroes every time. Earth Spike comes in and hits just illusions. Now the Requiem from Enzo blowing up Arteezy. He's so low, but the Finger of Death will bring him down. Shivy BKB heading towards the fountain, but the. She uh, Scotty's gonna slow him down as well. Let's go down here, Bash play at number one. Excel blink in here, it's gonna go right to the pen. Gets the shadow check on the Shibby. Doesn't allow for denial, unfortunately. And now flying Zebra out of mana, out of time, and out of luck. And he brought down by the Earth Spike and everything. It's just uh, a complete running disaster here for the Radiant. They put the Dragon down on the end, so and they're gonna blink and try and do something. He actually doesn't have the Earth Spike available. I think he thought it was off cooldown. Maybe hoping that this Requiem will kill somebody in his death, trying to get on top of him as he dies. He's actually gonna yules himself. And he's gonna be right on top of all of them. I won't be able to bring down Susie. Queen of Pain's gonna leave. We don't get the top range racks, but they get the melees. And, uh, rip. In the end, Rainy losing it just on so much. All those buybacks, they still can't hold the melee racks. And again, uh, I'd have to agree with uh, with Matt there. I'm not sure about this draft. Like, it just seems that the early Naga pick, just giving away your complete game plan. I mean, I know it works all the time, like when you're when you're puffing and getting your MMR up. But if a team's, uh, you have to remember these guys. You all have to be on Teamspeak now for FPL to even function. So they're all communicating at least on some capacity. And they're gonna be able to plan some strategies. They shut down all the lanes. Like yes, Arteezy got some, like decent. No, he didn't even get any space actually. Like they took over the jungle. They rotated all their heroes down. And there's nothing else to do. I mean, this mid play was sick. Wait, like getting that mid rax was insane, and, and it is giving the rating some hope here. But they're gonna need a lot more work here. Um, Arteezy trying to do all he can. Spearbreaker just such a good counter pick uh, from the Naga Siren. Looks like Excel gonna roam around a bit here. And Susie as well. Has a DD. I don't know if he'll be able to get a pick off though. Yeah, uh, Shitty. No movement abilities. <laughs> Might look like to go on this. At least he's Pandango clearing out waves with the finger. <laughs> Actually, yeah, they're gonna get a kill here. So they'll just have the net from Arteezy. He has nothing. The Radiance, even if he takes that, will just burn him down. The Dragon Tail available as well. Not gonna have to pop the ultimate or anything like that. Tries to manage drain shenanigans, but he'll go down. The rift time available as well. Yeah, it's pretty XD worthy. Another track run out by Susie on the end, so trying to be annoying and keep the star side from pushing into the throne. Uh, but how much rat can you really rat? Oh, we actually did have a moonshine purchased up by Enzo. He's so rich that uh, no slots left. Gotta get that extra attack speed. Item for Excel. Uh, could be the Lincolns. I think that'd be pretty good. Nothing really for the Lotus Orb this game. Could bounce back track. That'd be pretty sweet. Actually, okay, Lotus Orb would be actually quite hilarious. I haven't seen track bounce back yet. Uh, gets another track on a Misco because of the prior. Susie just playing so dangerous right now, trying to be a, an annoyance here. There's, okay, there's a Lincoln Scrap on fun, so we can't even track fun. And Roshan has returned, so Dire Side will be looking to pick up the Aegis and the Cheese and close out this game. Still no gem, right? No, just sentries. Kinda of surprised that Dire hasn't opted for that yet. It's like Excel, just kinda of signaling the team like, yo, guys, come on, let's go Rosh. Uh, the illusions to just continue the split push and Susie continuing to just throw up these tracks. He's doing a good job of not getting caught. Uh, never giving himself enough like enough time for them to throw out any sort of a charge or even the Yules from Enso. And considering he doesn't even have a BKB, it's very impressive. Oh, sorry, considering he doesn't have the blink, it's very impressive that uh, he still managed to get away from all that. And they're gonna hex up Rosh and start killing him now. Naga pushing into the top lane. 
Uh, nothing but bullets doing this. Artizi making sure that he's not going to get spotted by the Spirit Breaker and charged. Maybe some wards for the dark side can help prevent this. Only really here and here, whereas a lot of the rat is adding it right here, so they might look for something that they can get some vision on Artizi. And, uh, I think I put it on to Excel, of course, and finally pick up the cheese to hand off somebody during the fight. So, uh, in terms of victory here, down 22 kills, down one, only one melee racks in comparison. Uh, now, what do you do as the Radiant? Uh, you just keep ratting. You get as big as you can. You get this Octarine core finished up on Arteezy. Uh, the Dire not really getting close enough to the base here, and Susie doing a good job of distracting. Again, keeping them around. Oh, they're going to get vision right here, though. He tries to pull on the track, but it only pops the Lincoln Sphere. And nicely done. So, knowing the Lincoln's will still be down, he throws out another track. Zetox can be very scary, or very wary of showing himself up here. Even Flying Zebra, if he gets uh, charged, it's a deep shit. Uh, is that a Glimmer King? He's a self Glimmer King just for reducing the, uh, the magic damage. Oh, the charge is going to get Stevie nicely done, and he gets the bash. Now, Artie's coming in. Oh, can they get an end here on Enzo? He doesn't have anything. He has the BKB, and he also has the Satanic. And now, Zetok throwing out the Death Ward. He is completely dead. The team will not be here in time to even commit the wall. Just to ensure his death does happen here. That is a big kill for the Radiant. 93 seconds. Wow, the bounties. 1400 gold swing just from killing uh, Enzo. I mean, this is a nice mission. They're going to spot Pandago. Can they get anything onto him? I don't think so. There's no blink or anything on your Dragonite. So they will just get away. This game, still going. Excel still split pushing. Using the Sonic Mage just to push creep waves. Trying to out split push this Naga, but of course that's not a battle you're going to win. Really close to the Octarine Core, just the Mystic Staff to go. 1700 mana, or 1700 gold, and I don't know if Artiz will even save for buyback. Probably just, man, look how fast he gets these illusions out in farming. This is why he does first pick the Naga. It's like fun, just gonna hide in the trees here. Has himself a Ghost Scepter, so that'll help him up against uh, the Witch Doctor, Death Ward, and the Dragonite. Charge on a Flying Zebra now, he has the Blink TP, oh, he is going to use it and he will get it in time before the charge hits, so he'll be very happy with that. And not going to go for the Silver Edge, just a Vlad's and possibly, oh it's an Assault Crest now for Mystico, so your counter armor item right there. Z-Talk with the Glimmer Cape and the Force Staff might look to go into the Point Booster and the Agnum Scepter next. It's, it looks like this game is going to go out uh, to the distance, we're up to 48 minutes already and these lanes, the Dire just cannot push them in. And they know if they go all five down one lane, there's just instantly going to be a split push. Again, to so everyone uh, joining in Dota TV, I'm just looking at the face of the page and it says that we've got uh, 612 spectators. So, you know, that's what our TZ brings, but... Oh, uh, Suzy, so going to get silenced up. He's invis. They don't have any detection on them, though. Still not opting to buy a gem or anything. But um, I'm Mopax. I do stats and stuff for high ground TV. I'm on Twitter at Mopax or Twitch.tv slash Mopax. I'm also streaming this. Uh, we'll see if Enzo, he'll get tracked up, not gonna be able to get the Yules off in time, so it's just gonna be a charge onto Z-Talk in the bottom lane. He actually TP's home, so he'll be just fine. Meanwhile, Excel it goes on to our TZ, it looks like the Orchid has run out now, so he'll pop the mirror edge and just run away. Shipping with a nice DD in the mid, in the mid lane. <laughs> Susie just being so annoying, and so unable to catch him out with the blink Yules. Oh, he's under the ward though. Now he gets him. Now Reckoning, I'm not going to commit. Just gonna go. He always goes for this double raise. But the Glimmer Cape reducing so much that damage, I don't think I'll be able to kill. Oh, there's another Sentry right here. He's just walking all over Sentries. <laughs> Nicely played by it. So, always getting these kills without committing the Reckoning. So, well played. Is he. Yeah. Oh, no, he's just farming a free wave. Wow, so almost going down to the illusions there. He'll make his way home. Uh, Lion, of course, I haven't really been seeing too much of it, but a good hero up against the uh, Naga late game is mana drain instantly dispels the illusions. Oh, RTC forced to part, part the. <laughs> Jesus Christ. RTC forced to pop the song here, so a high ground push looking very good for the dire side. The boot's level 2 now up on your Queen of Pain, so she'll come right back in. Not quite full HP though. 
Eh, not, not wait now, Ant. There's no time for that. Looks like she's trying to backstab our TZ here. Uh, gonna be a charge under one illusion. I wonder if Excel will be able to do anything. There goes your Aegis, so that's a little bit unfortunate. So we just get the regen burst there. Probably gonna hope that she can stop the TP of our TZ. The Octarine Court is done, so oh, there it is. This is exactly what she wants. Get the Hex off. Perfect. She doesn't even care if she kills him before she tries to. Uh, he does have the song though, but he'll have to be forced to run. And now all the illusions. Oh, gets up there. The second mirror image. Can he get him? He can't. He will die first. Uh, but that is going to be our TZ down for 68 seconds. Probably going to force it to buy back. They want to keep the same going. He is going to buy back. This could possibly be going way too deep for Mizzy Talk, though. So he's just going to never get himself. Forces the dust out. Can he kill Zetok before he himself goes down, though? This would be very nice to get rid of the death orb. But it's going to happen. Misko does go down. No one else in the dire is even in the base. And so, going to pop his BKB, hitting the tower. There's no Aegis anymore here. So he's BKB. He's soloed out right now. And so, going to drop as well. He goes himself in the air. Pandango gets the earth back onto our TZ. That's sheep from Excel. Not gonna be able to keep him alive though. Pops the Manta, goes on to Excel. And now they're all dead. Oh, disaster. Oh, and a gem was also dropped, so they did finally purchase that gem after all that time. And now they get one right to, uh, handed over to the raiding side. 6,464 gold and 12,317 experience. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Naga game. MJW throwing it in the face of chat. I don't know how Radiant is winning this game at the moment, and I'm gonna have to agree. Uh, I'm scared to look at this graph. I find, oh god, 25,000 net worth advantage, Dyer. 35,000, uh, 33,000 experience at one point. I mean, just despicable. No buybacks, only Enzo. They're gonna get this from tower. Is there a dragon form? There isn't for Shibby, but they're just gonna go the glyph? The Sog from Arteezy, they're gonna win. They're just gonna take the throne, it's over. Fun, so upset that he just lost. And rightfully so, this game is actually over. I can't believe it. Ah, oh, Jesus. Nogasiren, please. <sighs> well, Arteezy, just showing how powerful the Nogasiren is. I will take it first pick and you will like it. <laughs> Finishing the game with 476 Lassets. The dire side just not even able to push in near the end. They couldn't focus the objectives. They couldn't group as five and get anything done together. I just can't even believe that. I thirty that was like thirty-two thousand experience and over twenty-five thousand gold.